In this video, we're going to be designing a simple mechanical piece. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free Hard Surface Jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game-changing portfolio. Link is in the video description. Let's get started. So, cube. And let's actually scale it and do something like this. I'm going to grab this box here and slice it here like that, press B and cut it through and I'm going to mirror to all sides, okay? So it's even, right? Good, 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 good. Now, um, we can recover this and add a loop here in the middle, split it and alt here macro and create a groove in the middle. It's going to be pretty cool, okay? Right, I think it's going to work. So let's sharpen this and let's clean it. And we're going to clean the uh, um, clean mesh. There we go. We're going to grab these and bevel them. So all of them here. Control B. Nice. We could technically chamfer this here, you know. And Alt X and then Shift D Y. And we need another cube. And so we're going to scale this. Okay. Now let's make it smaller, but longer. Or maybe shorter is better put a loop here and scale this and then grab this and extrude it and collapse it you can use control to snap it mirror to the other side okay that's cool and we could have another cube here in the middle so um let's just grab this face and move the cursor to face and this one to cursor scale it in and actually this could do I like that okay and we're going to hang on uh, before we do anything let's apply scale let's grab this and do something like this how this would look and difference I like that sharpen okay this is pretty peachy here we could have uh, corners smooth all text and all text whoa 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 uh, and that's cool let's regulate sharpen all right and now here we could technically run a bevel and this will allow us to run the chamfer here so click and run the chamfer here Let's just remark this sharp. There we go. And uncheck the loop slide. Shift. Whoa. Um, select these and mark Altex. Altex. That looks pretty good. Here we could have um, openings screws so let's just uh, why is it mirroring here that makes no sense let me remove this mirror for a second and now let's try this there we go let's just mirror this like that and then to the other side press a secondary mirror okay that's better um now could create some grooves here so let's apply this actually and then click out Click Alt click and create a chamfer. Nice. And then I want some grooves. Okay, so I want a groove here. Press W twice. And I'm not sure why this is not mirroring, but uh, it should be. So hold Shift and mirror and then sharpen. 
that's better. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And let's grab another cylinder. And now we're going to fix these. So, operations clean mesh. Three, and then one more time, clean mesh. Really now. Y, Altex, and Altex. Did that fix it? That did. Okay, cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab um, this piece here and actually could grab the whole thing here and then click on curve extract or shift click actually and move it inside here like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply that and we're going to grab these all right, and we're going to alt S them a little bit in right? so they, you know, kind of as a spacing here, okay, but not too much, all right. So just a little bit of spacing, okay. So here, let's grab that, and we're going to extrude it, right. And we're going to um, shift click here, open T panel, we go to spin tool, and switch this to Y axis, and we're gonna spin it like that. Hold Control. And, uh, and click, and then we're gonna extrude that, this bit here, to the middle, okay? Cool, and then we're going to sharpen this. How are we looking? Yeah, looking pretty peachy. Cool, now here we're gonna create some, uh, some opening. So, press W to turn it off, slice it through. In fact, what we could do is run an angle here. I think it's going to be better. So, run an angle here. Boom, right? That's pretty cool. Um, we we'll just mirror this it We we'll just mirror this across. It should work. There we go. And we need some bevel here too, right? So, you know, add the bevel and weighted normals. Here in the middle, uh, we could just, uh, you know, grab some, some edges and then boundary loops and do that and then I'll click on the macro and extrude it up that is really wicked cool 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 and here we could have um, you know some openings so run a circle could actually add dots so here hold control and run a circle and then we can actually mirror this down holding shift there you go that's pretty cool uh, that's interesting. We lost cavity, I think. There we go. Uh, let's run a bevel here. Thin one. And run the bevel here. Okay. And run the bevel on these. Smaller one. There's still some problem here, man. Like for real. What is going on here? Ah! Here we combine these you know, and combine these two, and I think we're done, and then alt x, and alt x, and boom. Alright, so here uh, we need some chamfer uh, to make it more interesting, and we're gonna run some cuts here as well, so we could run cuts here, like this, hang on. There we go, let's record that. And mirror to both sides. And this should carry over, perfect. And we could actually slice this one here like that. And sharpen this and sharpen that. And have a chamfer here on this one gonna create a bit of a separation and additional element which is pretty cool if you want to add screws here really easy you can do it with key tops and free inserts by master z on for key tops a link's in the description guys so just grab them and hmm yeah let's go with that where is it 
I didn't start. There we go. And make it smaller. Put it in here. Right, G, X, and move it in. And then, you know, Alt X and Alt X. And to the other side, that didn't work. So select that and A for secondary mirror and boom. Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Select this one, shift select that, Alt A, A, and then mirror. There we go. And let's remove this uh, mask, the, the mask here. And I think we're good to go, right? So let's just uh, plane, drop it down. And let's play with uh, BB mats, yeah? Because, you know, reasons. So here we could grab some steel. Let me see that. Okay. Now these mods are not available yet, uh, we're developing an add-on, like I've said in my previous videos. So you need to be just patient, we're still working on them. Uh, but you can use, uh, you know, uh, regular uh, BSDF mods, so simply Alt M with hard ops and add a blank mod. Uh, or use anything else that you may have in your disposal, it doesn't really matter what you use. Right, and these could be... Yeah, this could be black as well, why not? This could be actually steel as well. Kind of probably gonna look cool. Interesting. And these could be steel too. And this technically, you know, maybe could be white. Yeah, I don't think so. Machine steel. Hmm. Actually, why not? Machine still looks good. Or maybe uh, aluminium. And screws as well could be aluminium. That oh, looks pretty cool. And you're not gonna have to unwrap anything with the add-on, but uh, you know, it's work in progress. So let's apply the mirror here. So Q and Smart apply. This floor is a bit dark, yeah, so we could do something else here. I need to fix these uh, maps, they're not working for some reason. Um, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah, well, I think white's gonna be interesting because you're gonna reflect here in the front. And camera to view. And lock to view. Zoom in on that. Let's go 85. And let's shoot it from the bottom like this. There we go. I'll lock from view and drop this down a little bit. Make this smaller. G, Shift Z, R, Z, and hold control. There we go. And we can extend it now. So here, G, X, X and then EZ, and then G, XX, and we're going to bevel it. And we're gonna have to probably re-unwrap it, so, uh, boom, right. And let's see, we're gonna have to make it a bit wider. There we go, and we don't need um, this. You always wanna delete faces that you don't need. And we could actually grab some interesting lighting here. So, in fact, you know, the floor could be darker. I'm just thinking because of the angle now. So we could play with it, right? So, let's see that. Yeah, this isn't bad, man. Or a cargo floor. Well, scale would need to be changed, but... Uh, but, yeah. It's kind of like a foam. That's actually interesting too. Maybe we could use that. 
and um, let's just go here with some interesting lighting so maybe gun gradient um, let's try that and rotate it Yeah, see, that's interesting, right? Light is coming from the right-hand side, so we could kind of help it out with uh, a reflector here to bounce it back a little bit. Maybe not as bright, so, you know, could darken it down. But, you know, the shadow is here, but it's not so deep. See what I mean? Um, maybe a bit deeper. To create some dimensions. That looks actually quite interesting. I like that. Okay guys, well that looks like a finished render. So thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.